Bank United, that is the Florida bank, uh, is going to be trading today. Less than two years ago, Bank United was shut by regulators, sold to private equity companies, including Blackstone and Carlisle. Yesterday, it sold more shares and at a higher price than originally expected. I know, Christine, you broke that story about this offering earlier this week. Yeah, um, we, we actually broke the pricing that was coming in a little bit above the range. Mm -hmm. So this was an extremely successful offering. They sold more shares, about 127 million more shares than they were expecting to sell at a higher price and most of that came from the current owners um, because what happened was when they saw the demand for this IPO they decided to take even more money off the table because they realized that they were going to get a really nice price for it part of the reason of that uh, part of the reason for that is right. the market for IPOs are just is just pretty good right now <laughs> we've had a stable stock market investors are feeling good there's also another element here which is the bank itself is very very well capitalized it has got one of the best ratios in the industry right now, and investors feel very confident that the bank will be able to go out and make acquisitions and, and grow. But so. Christina, that's with a lot of help from the government, though. Yeah, that is. That is certainly the case. So what happened here is that the private equity firms saw a great opportunity uh, when sort of the world was uh, crashing down around them. Uh, they, they realized that the FDIC was willing to give them a loss-sharing agreement um, to buy the bank. So the, 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 the FDIC is taking on most of the losses associated with this bank. And mm. that's the reason why, to be frank with you, that many of these actually weren't able to get done. Private equity firms really were hoping to do multiple transactions like this one. Um, but the government realized that PR around the fact that you know private equity firms may be profiting off the government's back, right? That that PR may not look and so, that's not gonna so good. And not going to sit well with exactly. the taxpayers. Exactly. So you know these guys, Carlisle Blackstone, got in while the the FDIC was was at a point where there was no other buyer around. So right, they Christina, them. thank you, and you know, great reporting on this story, thank Christina Leshy.